Hey, what's up, guys? I decided to make this video because uh, the flight controllers with the F3 processors, they have, you can invert the signal on all three of the UARTs, but with all of the F4 processors that I've used, they only come with one hardware inverter, only for one UART, so you have to use a very specific pin. And uh, because of this, you can get SBUS to work. If you don't already know, the FreeSky receivers uh, the SBUS signal and telemetry signal both are inverted, so we're basically inverting it again, which is going to uninvert it. But what I'm trying to say is, with that one hardware inverter, we can get SBUS to work, but you still have to uninvert the telemetry signal if you do want telemetry. And the reason why I'm showing how to do this with the XSR and X4SB is because, uh, well, for one, these are the two most common FreeSky receivers. I'm uh, not doing this with the DFR2 because that's an analog type of telemetry. I'm not showing you how to do this with the XM and XM Plus because they don't have telemetry. And I'm not covering the X8R because uh, that one is a major pain in the ass. So let's go ahead and get started. And uh, let's do the X4RSB first. Not only will I show you how to uninvert the telemetry signal, but also the SBUS signal this will allow you to basically be able to use any UART you want on the F4 processor flight controllers. So if we look on the back side, and I'm going to zoom in as much as I can before it gets blurry, you will find this little chip right here. There is two legs on this side, one leg on the other side. Just take a piece of scrap wire and solder it to that one little leg. Um, I would recommend doing this at an angle and not up and down. That is going to it's going to have that low profile and not break off as easy and once you put uh, heat shrink back over this then this is going to hold the wire in place and you shouldn't have to worry about it ripping off if you are still worried about that you can just squirt a little bit of hot glue on the inside to hold the wire down in place then you just run the other end of the wire to uh, any of the UART transmit pins to get telemetry working and it just works now if we look on this side you'll see this chip it has it's hard for you to see but there's two legs on that side and three legs on this side you want to solder a piece of scrap wire to the leg in the very middle this is if you do want to uninvert the SBUS signal so you can be able to place the other end of the wire on any UART receive pin that you want on the F4 fly controller now going to the XSR on the top side it's going to be the same deal for SBUS. This chip right here, two legs on one side, three legs on this side. Once again, you're soldering the scrap wire to the middle leg. Then on the back side, you will have that same type of uh, three leg chip right here. I, I apologize for not using the proper terms. I'm, I'm just trying to keep this simple. Um, I know exactly what everything is, but two legs on this side, one leg on this side, solder the wire at an angle and you can just run this out the top, put heat shrink back on, uh, and like I said before, you can put a drop of uh, hot glue on it to keep it in place. And then just run this to any uh, you know, UART transmit pin you want to get that uninverted telemetry signal. And that is how it's done. So I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.